This is what we did so far. I just put a screw to the nail because I ran out of screws. A board into this post here and then I put another board into this one. So anyway, it's all tied together. Did the same thing on in between each pallet. And then I put a post here in the middle just for extra support because it is pretty heavy. And, um, and then there's another board here, another board here, and then here I put some wire from the inside, top and bottom, to hold this up right here so that doesn't move. This post is in there good. And, uh, and then this one is screwed in here. I'll have to. Mm. I'll probably have to just get some more wire and put some more wire, or maybe get some white boards if I can get some and put them in between there and connect the two that way. But uh, this is what it looks like from the front. When I get more pallets, uh, I'll continue down to this post here because that's where the pin is, right in front of it. That's an electrical pole, goes to the neighbors. And then that one, and then from there have so I have a pallet fence here, and then I have another fence going in that direction. And we might just end up doing it with screen temporarily, just so that we can, in case our animals run out, they don't run out into the main on, into the road. And again, there's no traffic here, but I don't want our goats running around down the street. So. Uh, and then we're going to, all along the line of these trees here on the inside, we're going to put uh, T-posts and fencing or pallets, we'll see, whatever we can do. But, uh, you know, uh, at least there's a post on each end, and then there's a T-post there, and then I will strengthen it. Um, this is again kind of temporary, but it is a deterrent, you know. Uh, this fence here, this was a circular driveway, so now it's no longer a circular driveway. If we want to, we just had a septic tank pumped before, it was pumped before we moved in. So it hasn't even been a year yet. So, you know, in another year or two, when it's time to pump the you know, tank again, I will open it up. It won't be that difficult and I will let the truck in because you'll have to come in this way to go and pump the septic. It would be much easier than trying to do it from the other side. So um, so we do want to have some kind of a gate eventually or an access. So again, this is temporary, uh, but it works. Anybody driving up the street now, they're not tempted to pull into this part of the driveway because now it's closed off. Uh, this is the back side, so obviously I put the nicer side toward facing the road because you want to make it look good for the neighbors and curb appeal and anybody and anybody coming up the road. But I mean, see you guys, gives a little privacy there. So and there, it works. It works. See? With three pallets. I think we might be able to recover the pallets, some of them, from the background of the chickens because we're going to open it up and give them a bigger run during the day and pray that they don't get taken by a hawk. That's a lot of grass cut with a weed whacker all the way down to the creek. I haven't finished all completely. I have to do this part right here. I uh, got about halfway then, uh, and then I called it quits. You see how tall it was getting and actually it was uh, even taller than this down at the end by the creek. Yeah, <coughs> it is looking good. Look baby. Yeah, <laughs> finally blooming up here a little bit and then it's kind of like down here as well. So that's awesome. So all of our trees made it. Yeah, this is going to be our orchard. Yeah, and then um, over in that way, we'd like to plant the hazelnut trees. Yeah. And the almond tree, so it's close to the fruit trees. And then we're going to fence in this area 
around those trees here and then have the goats let the goats out so they can eat all of those weeds and everything uh, we just have to get some t posts and run the fencing right so and then uh, we can let them out look look at him and he's stuck up there he doesn't know how to get down now what are you doing the plank what are you doing goats what are you doing goats <laughs> So he was up here, standing right up here. So I had to go and put a screen. I put the screen up and then he pushed the toddler through. So because it was still too big of a hole, so I, put, I had to put a second screen on top of the other screen. So I had to do the, the job twice. <laughs> Staple it all in, put the wire to hold it in place so that if he tries to yank at it with his horns, it'll be very tough. And uh, then I put a T-post right here which is, uh, it went in kind of at an angle crooked, but it is what it is, and I should have turned it the other way, but that's fine. And But it's very strong now, like it, if I push on it, it very barely moves. The king is up there, just chilling on his throne. And then over here we have, as you can see, all of that wire fencing that goes all the way up. You see? Easing heaven. Okay. I don't think our goat is interested in getting out and so we're not worried about him. And where is he going to go? This is his home. This is where he wants to be. He doesn't want to get out. He could get out right now if he wanted to from a number of places. <laughs> but he, he's not going to.